Welcome back to Let's Play Kirby's Adventure. Kirby's Dream Collection. Yeah, whatever. Anyway, we're gonna finish this today. With level seven, Rainbow Resort. Oh, look at that. Oh, <laughs> you look so happy. Uh, Kirby, why'd you do that? Not a very good singer, though. Anyway, let's get things going. Can you imagine being so bad at singing that you can kill weather? <laughs> like, like just the different things that weather can do. Oh, that's cool. Oh, banking yeah. shots. Look at you. A lot of laser shots here. That's why they give you the laser ability. See how that works? Yeah. Holy crap. Look at you. Do we need more MLG music for Kirby? I don't think so. No, we don't. No, no. Nah. I don't want to overuse it. No, just please, <laughs> please don't. It's kind of annoying after some time. Oh, God. Anyway, we need to kind of... This is a little cryptic, but not really. Complicated, oh, I think, more is the more is the term. Mm, yeah, I'd say that too. We got spark, you know, help break these. Blocks. Ah, there we go. Yeah, I was wondering, right. there's no way they'd have you just slide and just shock things for the entire time. That would be really boring. I want that beam though. I don't know how I can get it. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. There we go. Hmm. There's gotta be some way. Oh, here we go. What? Oh! Hidden bricks! That's cool! Yes! Oh, wait. What? One more. Uh, one, one more. One more. Uh, there we go. Alright. Now we got beam. We can make short order of the rest of these blocks. No problem. <laughs> I was just thinking. You're telling him, Oh, no, get away, yeah. the wall. Get away from the wall. I don't want to hurt you. And then you yeah. eat him. I'm not going to hurt you. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> the last word you hear, you lied! Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> no! Uh, no! no. <laughs> uh, there we go. Okay, good. All right. So oh, even uh, more hidden blocks? So. What is this? Right. Yeah, we gotta get to that door up there. But it doesn't work here, though. Uh oh. Huh. Weird. So we go back. Then there's gotta be something else we can use in, in instead. Spoilers, it's Fireball. Oh, really? Yes. So are those ice blocks? Yeah, pretty much. In uh, oh the... Gosh. Again, in the Game Boy Advance remake, it's more... Uh, it's more prominent that you gotta use ice blocks on the... That, oh, you gotta use okay. Fireball on that. But that's Switch! Yay! Nice! Crane game achieved. So, the... You said this got remade for the Game Boy Advance, right? Yes. Okay, did it have... Did it just change all the sprites and add full color, or what did it do exactly? Have you ever played uh, Kirby and the Amazing Mirror? No. Have you ever played Kirby's Squeak Squad? <laughs> no. Uh, well, th they use the same assets pretty much. They, they remade Kirby's Adventure from the ground up, called it Kirby Nightmare in Dreamland, and then they took those assets and made oh. Kirby and the Amazing Mirror, then they took those assets again and made uh, Kirby Squeak Squad, and then oh. the company went under. That, oh, well, shit. So I didn't know that's what Nightmare in Dreamland was. I thought it was a completely different game. Nope. Feels like oh. one, doesn't it? I, I guess. I'll take your word for it. Well, here we go. Probably the most obnoxious stage in the entire game. Well, is this a boss rush? It's a boss rush. It's a mini boss rush. It, as a regular stage? Uh... But it's like a gigantic tower, so it's like a, I don't know. Test your might or something. <laughs> Test your might, Kirby. Mortal Kirby! <laughs> and Kirby rips his head off. <laughs> I think Kirby would do great in Mortal Kombat. You know what? Maybe that's what'll be coming up in E3. Brand new Mortal Kombat and with a Nintendo character. I can see it. Because because, you know, you can't do anything that violent to Kirby, he's just practically goop, so he can just pull himself back together, he'll be fine. I can see Scorpion, like, throwing a, a kunai and it bounces back, hits him in the head. Kirby can never have a fatality done against him. And all you, all you hear is just Kirby go, wow! <laughs> God, that's like the ultimate insult. You know how fatalities is like, if you could pull one off, that's an insult to the other player? I mean, I mean, Not being I mean, able to kill the character would be the ultimate insult. 
You know, Ermac's really violent uh, fatality where he, like, uh, oh, God, takes the character's one? innards and just, you know, ah. rips them literally right out of their <laughs> mouth. Oh, I love that one. That's so fucking brutal. Imagine if you did it to Kirby. Instead of organs and blood and shit coming out, it's stars and waddle dees and waddle doos and fruitcake and food and shit. And, you know, just be a neat little twist on it. Come on, yeah. And yet Kirby still doesn't die. He just goes, hey, hey, What are you doing? And yet, uh, his fatalities are, uh, conversely, completely non-violent. It's just, <laughs> finish him, and then, <laughs> gulp, gulp, Kirby wins, fatality. Just, that's <laughs> They're it. just gone. There's no bloodshed, there's no nothing, it's just happy death. And you're just gone, that's it. <laughs> you go into the negative space that is Kirby's innards. Despite all of your power, you are nothing. He becomes the new god of Outrealm after devouring <laughs> every single combatant in the Mortal Kombat tournament. Just hey, everything is dead. Mortal Kombat 10 for Switch, Kirby <laughs> as a special character. Do it. Holy shit. Ah, oh, fuck. Damn it, you died. You have to do all that again. Firecat wins fatality. Uh, no, you don't. You start oh, okay, at the okay. floor that you stopped at, so... But you lose a life, oh no! No, god, no! Anything but that, please! <laughs> Just, yeah, uh, Kirby combat, you know, everybody's... God. Jesus! Man. Everybody... This is the hardest opponent you've had to fight yet, and he's getting, like, fatalities all over the place, so please kill the cat. He is, he's not this difficult in later Kirby games, I swear. It's like, he, he, he can... It, I think it's the back step and the fact that he can grab and shit. That's... that's what hurts. Ah! <laughs> like that? The fact that he just scratches the fuck out of my face, that's what's really insulting. It doesn't even do anything to you, it's more just like... You, you know how gnats, when they fly in your face, you can never, like, swat them away, and they're just, like, too close, you can hear the buzzing? It's kind of like that. Mosquitoes buzzing in your ear? Oh, God, I hate that! There we go. Finally. Hey, we started the stage with Fireball, and we ended with Fireball. Oh, it's over. Wow. It's over. That's it. Except for one more part! Ha <laughs> ha! Whoa! Here we go on Warp Star Tours! Wow, it even needed a transition. How far did we go? Well, now it's all colorful. We get a maximum tomato, and ooh, it's pretty, and that's the end of the stage. Oh. <laughs> I thought it was leading up to something, but now it's just like, hey, by the way, you win! Say hey, good job. There's one more sword enemy, and also a maximum tomato. Can you do it, sucker? Ha 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 ha. Anyway, good job. Hmm. All right. Stage three, useless sleep enemy, fuck you, another one, and another one, fuck you, and oh, there's four of them. How useless is it, then? They're, okay, They're, they're so, all sleepers. In Kirby's Squeak Squad, if you get a special item, uh, sleep can actually restore some of your health. And that oh. is the only, underlying, only time in Kirby history where sleep actually does something. Let's sleep does something here! We can mix them together and make ball! Oh, how fucking useless. Wow. That's kinda sad. Well, maybe we can try and make it work. I'm, maybe if I press A at the right time and- Oh, this is not the place to have ball. <laughs> this is oh not the my place. god. Well, maybe it is. Maybe you have to go all the way to the top and pachinko your way down to the exit. <laughs> maybe that's oh, how that you find be... a hidden switch. Uh, or no, 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 no. I do like the fact that there are slopes, though. Yeah, that work. is nice. They just can't stone off of them. Oh, well. You can't yeah, stone right off up. slopes, bro? What's wrong with you? I don't know, man. I'm trying to quit. <laughs> you stoning slopes? Yeah. Hyper candy! Oh, jeez. So, wait, uh, was that Meta Knight? Yeah, that was Meta Knight. He throws hyper candies to us. I know, but you already beat him, I thought. Yeah, well, I guess he wants to help us out even further. It's. Like, like, oh. Well, uh, from this point forward, Meta Knight is always going to go on about some sort of non-specific revenge or whatever. So maybe uh, this is the this is the ma this is what made him angry in the first place. And we got stoned anyway. Here we go. But he's still giving you candy. And you're done with the stage already. God. Yeah, these are pretty short stages, but uh, I think there are. Now there's only six in here. I thought there were seven, but there's six. And hey, we got a one-up too. Jeez! You're just destroying this Kirby game. The way Kirby destroys his enemies in Kirby Combat! 
It feels like stage six, or like level six, was harder than this one. Yeah, so, I'd, uh, I'd say so. Alright, so I think it's time to reveal uh, the uh, names of these uh, stages here. We got Vegetable Valley, Ice mm -hmm. Cream Island, uh, Butter Building, Great Garden, Yogurt Yard, Orange Ocean, and Rainbow Resort. Take the first letter of all of those. What does it say? Something unintelligible, I'm sure, but, but if it goes backwards, it says Roy G. Biv. Oh, the colors of the rainbow! Yes, a very popular uh, mnemonic device for... Okay, well, can't do tornado, sorry. Yeah, very popular <laughs> mnemonic, mnemonic device for uh, rainbows and shit. Colors, yeah. You get it? Color. Because Kirby's in color now, huh? Get it? It's great. Because he was not in color before, but now he is. Oh, that's now, clever. But now, now he's in color, because he was white before, but now he's pink. Because color. He's in color now. You get it? Yeah, you want to keep going and dig that joke m even more into the ground? Sorry, I was a bit off color. Anyway, uh, speaking of color, uh, these different colored rooms are sectioned off with different enemies. Uh, that's that's definitely proof that the Kirby game you're playing right now is wrapping up. <laughs> they running out of ideas. Yeah. Uh, here's here's one neat idea. Oh God. Oh God. Very busy. I'm gonna try not to hit these Gordo. Oh. 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 So close. That almost worked. And that's the end of that stage. Jeez, wow, they are running out of ideas. <laughs> or it's wrapping up, as you said. Yeah, it's, it's not, not really running out, just wrapping up, that's it. The game doesn't have anything more to throw at you, and this is about the time where the game starts to wrap up, so it just makes sense. Sure, Kirby's, sure. like, Kirby's games don't last fucking forever. No, oh, God, no. You just play them forever because they're so good. Run! Ah! <laughs> fireball, fireball, come oh, on! Sh oh, shot! Oh my. Oh man. The last one. Yeah. Almost made it too. Ah, ah, uh, come on, Kirby! Uh, uh, yeah, here we go. Wait a minute, were they timed to fall at different intervals? Yeah, but that last one was supposed to be the curve. Oh, whoa, whoa! Yeah, I noticed. How'd they do that? They're cheap bastards, that's why. <laughs> I think it's the positioning. They'd probably tested that room several times. Yeah, See, I, that's good, what I'm thinking. Good, good design. See, you think this is just something visually busy to look at, but then you notice. You don't have very much stage to work with because that little wheelie is taking up all that room. So you had to fight that wheelie boss with far less, uh, oh, uh oh Oh, uh, oh, uh, oh, oh no, oh there's no. There's gravity going on here, see? Oh, oh. This one takes you up, and that one takes you down, and whoa, 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 okay, okay, all right. We got this. All right. Okay. Oh, wow. What? Oh. Now that's clever. All right. All right. We got this. We got this. It's no problem, right? No problem at all. Whoa. Oh, man. Come on. Come on. Almost got it. Almost got And so Kirby died. Oh, well. Let's try that again. Maybe we can just uh, run our way through. Maybe we can make a mix. Something can help us out here. What do we got? Hammer, all right. Hammer oh, always sweet. helps. Makes everything better. What, what, what? No, oh, no, no, no! <laughs> <laughs> yes. All right, third time's a charm. Let's do Acceptable. it. Acceptable. Ah! <laughs> Don't lose all your lives! All right. Uh, fourth movie is used to the good reboot, so all right. Uh, let's have a little scream and let's go. Let's uh, be a little more cautious this time. Maybe we'll fly towards the top so that way we don't get pushed down too much. And oh, 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 oh. Uh, okay, we're good. Infinite <laughs> fire. Oh, no, no, oh. no, no! <laughs> Are you kidding me? Man, this room's kicking my ass! Sheesh! Oh, I'm so glad this, this exists. <laughs> See, in Kirby's epic yarn, you just lose a little bit of... Uh, lose a little bit of uh, gems. There are lives at stake here! <laughs> oh, no! <laughs> Why? <laughs> Do you realize what's gonna happen now? I am on my last life! <laughs> I'm gonna get a game over in a Kirby game. That hasn't happened in forever, man. <laughs> Kirby's adventure, no less. <laughs> And what do we have, like, seven more games to do in this long series? 
Uh, we got something close to that. Something like that. Like <laughs> You're getting a game oh, over yeah, an like... adventure. It's just this room, man. <laughs> We've been fine up until this room. Oh my God! The door. Get the we door before you somehow die. Hey, dude. <laughs> we have a little celebration. <laughs> All right. Ah, ah. <laughs> Please, I just want to go home, sir. <laughs> Laser can also activate the fuel. Oh, oh good. Oh, fuck. <laughs> fuck. You know, fuck it. There's not e that doesn't lead to a switch or anything, so fuck it. <laughs> I love how you got in the cannon as if it was wishful thinking. It's like uh, maybe there's still a bit of fuse left. Take me away. Maybe if I try really hard. Yeah. <laughs> maybe if I dream a bit harder. And hey, Holy shit, it's a remake level! Yep. Oh, jeez. Oh, great. Now, I now love we're gonna it when have devs to, do this. We're gonna have to go through the Kirby's remake, or the, the Kirby's Dreamland remake level with our laser power, but with one health and no lives. And the mm. final boss is after this. <laughs> so, uh, we might be in a little bit of a pickle, but let's just. Focus on nostalgia. Remember this part? Remember there were a couple of Poppy Brothers seniors here and all that? Yeah, we took, yeah, big, yeah. We took a big old gigantic star and all that. That was, that was, that was great. Remember that? It's it too, bad they don't, too bad they don't have the cows. We kind of don't have them in Adventure because they're too big for the NES palette, I think. But anyway, we got, you know, uh, Lo we're in Lolo's castle now. Oh, See? so it is going through every piece of that stage, that yeah, game. There we it's go. Like, Look, Kirby isn't white anymore! He has a color now! He's orange. I mean, pink, but yeah, you know! And look, here's a 1-Up and a Maximum Tomato! Oh, thank God, because you definitely need it. Oh, sweet Christ, did I need that. <laughs> I've never heard anybody, like, that exasperated over a Kirby game. <laughs> it's like, please, let me have it. Whatever kind of fun you want to have with the Kirby game, it will oblige. That. <clears throat> Even if it's free-to-play bullshit. I'm not too excited about that mobile Kirby, are ya? Uh, I already have it. Uh, I already spent like a dollar on it. Uh, I kinda like it. Ah, uh, shut up. Uh, anyway, anyway. <laughs> <laughs> uh, unfortunately there are no secrets in here. Oh, okay. Yeah, whatever, whatever shortcuts you had back then, they don't work now. Oh well. But, uh, this is all kind of familiar, isn't it? Oh, another Max Tomato, jeez. Max Tomato at the top, the door to Now we're in Bubbly Clouds. Oh, look at that. I'm just going through the entire game, all in one level. And then you have to fight a Maximum DDD, where he has three health bars. <laughs> yeah. And you only have laser and six things of health and one extra life. Yeah, now things are really looking familiar now. Hmm. I'm trying to figure out what the catch is at the end of this level, or is it just going to be, like, OG? Or is it just going to give you the exit door? It's going to be OG, man. God, shit. I, I, I need that. I, give me, give me, I want laser. Give me laser. Ah! Phew. Okay. All right, there's the exit door. Oh, good. Does the moon still work? Does the moon still work? Let's find out. Yes, it does! Yes! Switch! Oh shit, that door. was! That was real. Okay. Yeah, it was real. Oh, check the moon. Rule number one. Check the moon. Oh wow, this is wrapping up. Crap. It is. So now we're I'm on to the fun. final boss. Finally gonna face King Dedede. Apparently he stole everyone's dreams or some shit. Wah. That jerk. We've been getting back all the pieces of the Star Rod so we can uh, restore the Fountain of Dreams. So that way, we can restart everybody's dreams back. But King Didi's like, no, I'm not gonna let you do that because it's, it's no. So we're just gonna shoot him with our laser. Is that doing damage? It is. It may not seem like it's doing damage, but it is. I was about to say, yeah, it doesn't look like you're doing much. What it also does is it interrupts his attack pattern. Oh! Up. Oh, he's hitting in the air now. Because he always has to make that kind of ah face. I love uh, the all face. Oh, oh he, he slid to hit me! <laughs> it's a cheap tactic, mate! Oh, the advanced AI of King DDD as it goes. Ah! Uh, but 
but not smart enough to outdo my lay, sir. And he's still trying. I mean, he's just gonna barrel through. Yeah, he's he's definitely trying. I tell you what, the one thing to actually beat DDD is to take him on the smash stage, the, you know, the Donkey Kong one, uh. and then just have him, you know, do his high jump the entire time and try to escape the rushing waters. I don't think I've shown anybody but you that. And that was a match between you and me. Brother, I think I still have it. <laughs> if you do, you might have to upload a clip if you still have it. Mm, well... Oh, hey, you won. Yeah, we won. So now we're at level 8, the Fountain of Dreams. Oh, what? That's it. Oh. It, 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 it. Dude, you lost. Back off. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> no, please! Look, 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 man. We worked so hard to get this star rod. We're gonna, we're gonna just put it back. All right, there we go. Now everyone can dream again. But... But... So wow. now it's time for the real final fight between, uh, I think this is Dark oh, Ma- Oh man. I think this is just Dark Spear or something. There's a special name for it. Dark. This is cool. Yeah, and now we're in that one shoot em up thing. We're up, way up here, we're way up high in the sky, we're almost in space! It's just like that one boss from Kirby's Dream Land! It is a callback after all! <laughs> I like this one better. This is this is really neat. All I gotta do is just kinda keep your wits about you, keep shooting, and kinda follow him, but get out of the way when he attacks. So did this change in Nightmare and Dreamland? Did he have like a an actual corporal form or Nope, this is this is uh Nightmare and Dreamland is about his uh from the bottom up remake as you can get. Oh, okay. Everything's oh well, almost got him. Oh, neck and neck. Uh, uh, Don't you die as the final uh, boss. Uh, 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 Get some danger music. Come on, uh, there oh, we go. Boom! You destroyed right. the nightmare. So one more thing about this level. There's a time limit. What? Kane Deedity shot us up into the air. No, there's the ground. Oh, God. Oh, God. That's <laughs> instant death. <laughs> Get the star. Okay. Wait, that was instant death? Yeah. You had to kill him in, in a set amount of time, otherwise you were going to go smashing into the earth. <laughs> so now you're going to go to the moon for the real, real, real final fight. Oh, geez, seriously? Between dark matter. Oh, shit. Oh. Uh, oh, so, are you controlling this? So with the power of the magical star rod, oh. we're going to take on his real form. Bring it on! Whoa! I got gotcha. you! I got gotcha. you! I got gotcha. you! Bring it on! You got stubby, mate! I got gotcha. you! Definitely gonna can, die. Can you not hit him, or do you have to hit his face, or...? I gotta hit that glowy mark when he opens up his coat. Oh, or his, God. His wings, whatever that is. He looks like Count Chocula. Part of a complete the breakfast. <laughs> the tank of my stars. I'm trying to see just how long I can last with just one health. Doing pretty okay so far. I mean, uh. oh god, that seems like it takes forever. Aren't there any other openings? There is a few, but they're hard to do. Like, well, like right uh, there. Uh, 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 that's an opening right there, but you got to make sure you're not button mashing all the time. But I'm hoping that one of these shots will hit him. Ah, uh, there we go. Darn it. I thought you were gonna do it. Oh, well. Well, we got full health. Let's make it for real this time. 
All right, I can take that. Oh, and I didn't even notice that you had a like a new portrait down for your power. You have Star yeah. Rod. We got the Star Rod. We got because we can't lose this power. Sometimes Thank in Kirby God. games, when you have the ultimate when you have the ultimate uh, weapon, you can lose it, but not this time. That seems kind of cruel. It's like, hey, we're gonna take away the ultimate power that we gave you just for funsies. Yeah, I, I think Kirby in the Amazing Mirror does that. Kirby Squeak Squad does that. Why, though? It makes sense in Kirby the Amazing Mirror because it's uh, like a Metroidvania-style game, so... Oh, okay. you got You gotta hold on to it! And you can get you can get it anytime when you go back to base, because there's several bases and all that, whatever, throughout the, throughout the world. But, gotcha. in Squeak, but in Squeak Squad, it's just dickish. <laughs> oh, man. What's the deal with Dark Matter, anyway? Is he just like... Is he just like the cause of nightmares, or what is this guy? He's the cause of nightmares. He's everything evil along with the world. Uh, he's responsible for every mm. every bad thought you ever had, every you know malicious intent that ever goes on. It's, he probably has a has a say in it. Dark, yeah, maybe, ma Dark matter is like the anti Kirby, pretty much. Whereas maybe Kirby he really is, does promote sugary cereal. Kirby is all fun and smiles on the surface. He is all dark and evil and shit. Everything against what Kirby stands for. Okay, that attack was just silly. He yeah, just, well. he just pulled like a Spider-Man and went upside down. That's a, that's an opening though. It's the only way to hit him when he gets down to this health, I think. Oh God. Gotta be ready. I don't think this is gonna work out very well. Mm, I'm thinking maybe one more try. Uh, there we go. In your last life. Oh well, you got him. You got this. Just a little, little bit further. A little bit further, and we got him. I think two uh, more hits, uh, maybe? Uh, uh. Oh, man. I had him. I just aimed a little lower. I would have had him. A bit more. A I believe more. in the Kirby that has the star rod. Come on. Oh, shit. I hate this move. Ah. Go, 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 go. I don't know how you dodged that. Me Unless your hitbox is the side oh, of the shock. portal. What? No, God, so Shut never it. mind. Your hitbox is not the size of a pixel. All right, all right, all right. Well, uh, now I'm on my last life. We're about halfway down here, so let's just finish this up. Because, of course, when I've got only one life left and it all matters, that's when he starts to open himself up just fine for me. <laughs> of course. Doesn't that happen in, like, every game that you've ever played? I mean, not just for Let's Play, I mean, like, in general, because I've had that happen oh, before, too. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah, just, oh, yeah, every time, even. I think what gets me the most is when I'm fighting a really hard boss and, you know, I'm on the last life and I'm like, I'm never going to beat him. Might as well just, like, stop caring. And then I end up winning. Abyss from Soul Calibur 3 made me cry on so many occasions. Fuck Soul Calibur 3's AI. <sighs> God damn, that game is hard as balls. I said 3, not 4. No, both of them. Well, I had trouble with Soul Calibur 3 too. 1, 2, and 5 are the best anyway. And hey, we did it! All right, all right, all right, yes! That did it. Yay. We so, saved Dreamland! But... Oh. We blew up the moon. Oh. Uh... What's that gonna do down to the surface? Oh, don't worry about it. Anyway, Kirby fought to find the Star Rod, but King Dedede did not mean any harm. Bad dreams had invaded Dreamland. A nightmare came to the Dream Sprang and tried to cause pain to the people. That's a hell of a nightmare. So it turns out Dedede was on our side the whole time, even though his sprite's kind of tearing. <laughs> There's too many characters on screen at the same time, huh? Kirby, your rod, it's just causing an overload. <laughs> I mean, look at that. That's a kill screen underneath you. Underneath that's, the text box. That's gonna be a theme. King D to D is not the real enemy. Well, he, he was in the first game, but not in this game. And, well, you'll see. So that was Kirby's Adventure. What do you think? That was cool. Yeah. Nice little game. One of, the, one of the best of the NES, if I say so myself. Oh, what a shot. Yeah. 
the NBA would be proud. Kirby for the Harlem Globetrotters. Oh, from downtown. <laughs> Literally from downtown. <laughs> that star was all the way down, down by the square. <laughs> Must be the shoes. <laughs> ah, Boom, shakalaka. Ah, ah, ah. <laughs> oh, shit. Now we need Kirby in NBA Jam. <laughs> Just put Kirby in everything. You know what? I think that would be the best solution. I know. You should put Kirby in everything. It's kind of a... Yeah, Masahiro Sakurai. Did, did good work, man. You always do good work. Mm-hmm. It's too bad about Project Sora, though. Yeah. Yeah. Wow, using Fireball against a gigantic Fireball, it actually hurts him. There's some backward science shit going on there. I don't get it. I don't think it works like that. Like if, the, if the sun was that close to the Earth, we would all be dead. I know, it's just like, it's just like people saying, well, uh, if Link actually had to stop the moon, the moon would have killed Termina already. <laughs> well, it's like, it's a fucking video game, okay? Well, who brings a parasol to a heavy mole fight? <laughs> God, who is this loser playing the end credits of Kirby? Uh... Oh God, who brings sword to the Meta Knight fight? What a loser. Yeah, no kidding. Should bring plasma or something. Or Is plasma maybe, even a power yet? Maybe jet. <laughs> Wait a minute. Those powers haven't been shown yet. Oh. Okay, I guess I'm getting a little ahead of myself. Uh, another game. Different game. Well, we're going to jump we're, against Dedede? Wow. We're going to get there, though. But yeah, that's the end of Kirby's Adventure. The Star Rod's in place. Nightmares are free from Dreamland. And everyone can have good dreams all over again. We've unlocked the extra game, which is pretty much just the same game over, but you can't save. You got your health is three is cut in half, pretty much. Oh wow! So yeah, showing off the uh, extra stuff we got, so we can play the bonus games. We can play everything that was in those doors, and also a boss rush. But eh. we're gonna be doing something a little different. I mean, when you come to Ultra Director Jester, you come for something a little uh, out of the ordinary, don't you? Sure. So, uh, that's what we're gonna go do. Uh, first off, we are going to head over to, uh, level 5 here to get something that we need. Which is... Where is it? Where the fuck is the... Yeah, here it is. Oh, wait. It's not it. That's what I'm looking for. The museum. What are you planning? Gonna go ahead and get stone here. Now we're gonna go make our way back out. Head over to level six, world one. We haven't been in this room yet. This was one right here. And that block right here can be uh, uh, removed with the stone or hammer. And if you do, if you uh, enter stone in water from the side, this happens. Holy fuck! You can do what a lot did of you neat do? Stuff. You, can, you can do a lot of neat stuff from like breaking the game to making a crash to even going to the end credits if you want. But that's about the most interesting thing I could do with it. Uh, so uh, yeah. Uh, <laughs> it's kind of neat. What the hell did you do to my disc? <laughs> I killed it. What did you do to Kirby's Dream Collection? It's, it's fine. It's fine. But, <laughs> hey. Next time we're doing Kirby's Dreamland 2 on Let's Play Kirby's Dream Collection. We'll see you next time. Uh -huh.